Hello YouTube and welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm so happy you decided to join us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. I'd greatly appreciate it. Well, as you saw in one of our recent episodes, we got the chassis back. And as you can see, I've already started putting the front suspension on it. So that's what we're going to continue on with today. We're going to get uh, hopefully the steering components on it, steering box, steering rod, the idler arm. Uh, try to make try to get the steering shaft in it. Then we're going to move to the back of the car and try to get the uh, rear end hung up under. So it's a lot of paint, a lot of clean, a lot of paint. Pretty slow progress, and uh, Buddy will continue to work on the uh, body as well. So ride along with us. And let's see what we can get done. All right. As I was saying, I've already started working on the front suspension a little bit. I didn't want to video all this cleaning up the A-frames and painting those. Which I actually already had those sandblasted, but the spindles, I had to hand clean those and get those painted. It looks pretty good so far. And got a, got a lot of work to do still. I still haven't found out about the brake calipers. These are old Earhart brakes and I got to find out. They're over on the floor, as you can see. And we got to rebuild those. But I'm going to start off today with the, try and get this old nasty um, steering box cleaned up. Try to get it painted. So uh, let's try to get started. Man, that was a job. I don't know if you can appreciate it in the time lapse, but I worked on this thing almost probably 45 minutes to an hour to get it cleaned up. When a sweet manufacturer makes these boxes, I'm not sure what material they use, but it's a pewter natural steel color, so I'm not gonna paint it. I'm gonna leave this the way it is. Uh, that's the way they came from uh, Sweet. Uh, and I like leaving an iron color. It just had a little bit of surface rust on it, on the pitman arm. But uh, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I actually took, had to take a stone, had to polish it a little bit where uh, where it, I couldn't get down to nicks and cranes, but uh, that'll be fine. And I think it'll look better just kind of that natural color. So let's see if we can get this thing stabbed on here. Alrighty, we got the steering box mounted. It looks pretty good. Like I said, I was gonna leave it that natural color. Man, got this all cleaned up and painted. The tie rod ends, and I actually sandblasted those. Still amazing to me, you may find this interesting, that they used stock tie rod ends in 1988. That is amazing to me. Nowadays, everything is rods and high ends. I polished the uh, steering shaft I wasn't sure what to do. I was going to paint it, but boy, I got to work on this aluminum and I polished that up. Of course, I've got it taped up now so we can paint the mounts and the steering shaft, but uh, that's going to look really, really good. It's a uh, polished aluminum. We'll just paint the ends of it in this bracket here. So let's see if we can get this painted and uh, we'll keep on trucking.
Alrighty then. Now there is a tie rod and drag link and idler arm and pitman arm all installed. Man, that was a job. That's what I've been dreading the most, actually, to be honest with you. And we got the uh, steering shaft over there drying. That's going to be the next victim. We'll run it through the steering, up through the uh, firewall here. I got to come up with some new bolts for that. But uh, I'm also going to cut a piece of rubber to put up under this tank. And once we get the rubber under the tank, we'll go ahead and mount it permanently. Also going to put a flat plug in there, take out that. Uh, remember that oil tank was mounted inside the car and that's why they had to drain it through the floor pan. Well, now we've got access to it. We'll just put a flat plug in there now. So, hope you're enjoying this really exciting stuff today. <laughs> but hey, it's part of it. So, we will keep on trucking. Well, this is going to be the next item. We're going to move to the rear end while I'm waiting on the steering shaft to dry just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and get these painted. I don't understand. I saved y'all the misery, but I'm wearing this mask. Just try to help a little bit. I got more black boogers now than I had ever. And I understand this mask is supposed to protect me from the most dangerous virus in the whole world. Yet, put it tight on there. It won't keep out looks like zero amount of paint fumes so i so that's my political statement for the day anyway get these uh i'm gonna brush these up just a little bit clean them up just a hair more then we'll shoot some paint on them and uh i'm trying to paint one thing install something and come back and clean paint that way we can try to be a little more productive let's be right back with you all right, we got the stair shaft installed. So the front end is pretty much complete. Very proud of how this turned out. I told you how it polished this aluminum. Now you can see that looks really, really nice. And I got that adjusted. Um, I hope I can salvage this steering wheel. This steering wheel is pretty, pretty rough. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I may just order a new steering wheel. It is, it's pretty rough. But got everything on and big news is Ryan got his 604 in. After weeks, I don't know how long, it's probably been two months, but he's getting there together and uh, he'll have that sucker running tomorrow and uh, fresh rebuild on a two week old motor, <laughs> but that's the way it goes. <laughs> but uh, uh, hopefully uh, he's got the problem figured out what happened. So we'll uh, get that thing in that car out right there tomorrow. So. We're going to call it a night, and we will be back with you here shortly.